Say, what do you do with your worn-out mail? Well, I don't know. Oh, there it is somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh huh. Oh, well, I'll read it right now. Don't read it now. Wait, last of it. All right. Is there going to be a nice moon tonight? Huh? I mean something really spectacular. I don't know. Why? Something tells me I'm going to need it. <laughs> See you later. Hey, honey. You gonna stay in this room with all them microbugs crawling over you? I don't think they'll bother me, Hyacin. Oh. Uh, now, if that don't get it. Mm, mm, mm. You know, I don't think he has the slightest idea why I'm here. Well, I've been in your exact predicament. But you know what I done? I sprinkled him with Egyptian nights. And when he come to, we was living on 110th overlooking the park. <laughs> Of course, I had to pay the rent. Hyacinth, dear, please put the stopper back. I'm afraid it's too, um, too potent for me. Well, you ought to try some. It never fails. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't remember putting any gag in the letter. Oh, I'm sorry, dear old <laughs> You are. <laughs> You're an adorable idiot. Listen, darling. Getting married wouldn't make either one of us happy. Why not? Why not? Because it just wouldn't work. You've been saying that for the last six years, and I've never believed you. The whole thing is so typically you. There's a war on your board and what to do. So in your typical Roisian manner, you travel 10,000 miles. Well, All right, 12. You come crashing in here and you upset my peace of mind just because you want emotion roots. And bingo, I'm it. You know, you wanted to be a shining light in the medical profession once. You studied for 12 long years to get there, and then you threw it away. Just as you throw me overboard when some new idea struck your fancy. You're wrong, Jim. Thank you. I'll stick to my very, very bugs, and you can... I can what? Well, you can... Listen, there, there must be dozens of men that'd be crazy to marry you. I'm not quite sure just what that means. Oh, well, what, well, why don't you go back home to the central clinic? You want to do something? Plenty work there, I understand. It's deeper than that, Jack. I want to belong somewhere. I want somebody of my own. Somebody who'll be glad to see my silly face coming through a door just because it's my silly face. You're the only one I ever felt that way about. I uh, saw Michael last month, Manila, stationed there. Three years, you know. Let's not talk about him. Let's talk about us. We can't, Royce. He's right here with us. That's why you've come to me, Royce, because I'm his friend. I'm just one step nearer the thing you really want. Michael. That isn't true. It was always Michael. It's why you studied medicine, so you could be near him. Why you threw away your career, because he married someone else. You're too intelligent to start playing games, you know. husband catch. Huh? Don't you like it? I think it's horrible. Gosh, it seems to work. I, Jan, take thee right as my lawfully wedded spouse. I, Jan, take thee right as my lawfully wedded spouse. Cleaving unto thee and forsaking all others. Cleaving unto thee and forsaking all others. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer, for poorer. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. The ring, please. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. I pronounce thee man and wife.
Oh, not another here. step. Wait a minute. Here it is. We're here. Gotcha. 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 There, it's horrible. You forget I'm a doctor. This is different. They've been mutilated. Mind wearing clothes. Listen, darling. Manila is 600 miles southeast by east. The Japs have already been here. We'll probably meet them all the way. You ready? I'm ready. I'm not hungry. Funny how unhungry you get. I don't feel like eating. You don't? Hello, funny face. Did I ever tell you how nice you are, Roy? I mean, how really nice? Every day. Twice on Sunday. That's what you used to do to Michael when his headache. Remember? No, I don't. Jan, dear, please don't let's torture ourselves. All right, I'm sorry. Won't happen again, I promise you. Go ahead, Doc. Well, I'm a dog-eared doodlebug, a lady doctor. This is the most fortunate meeting, lady. I've been having terrible pains lately. Not as terrible as the one you give my neck. Go make camp. All right, all right. Come on, you lugs. Get there. Come on. What's on the menu tonight? Well, kidney beans and pink beans... Here's a can of Boston Bake. Why not mix them all together? Cook up something exciting. Yeah. Like lobster a la Newberg. <laughs> <laughs> uh. One, six, three, four. This is Sergeant Mahoney from Bantech. One, six, three, four. Sergeant Mahoney calling. One, six, three, four. This is Sergeant Mahoney. Uh, reporting location. One, six, three, four. Captain, we're about 300 miles north of Bataan. It'll take us at least a month to get to Manila Bay. Yes, Captain. South by East, 60 miles. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Captain says we got the zoot suits. Come on, what did he say? 
He said south by east, 60 miles, then we come to a river. I know the place. That's north of West Shore. Anything else? Yeah, he said step on it. There might not be any Manila when we get there. Fix a fresh dressing. I brought this along. You did? You're terrific. Well, first, I'll look after some of the others need attention more than I do. Thanks. Great guy. A great gal. You know, you remind me so much of a little girl in Manila. Oh, <laughs> here it comes. You know, I can tell this better myself. First thing he'll tell you, he thinks he don't deserve it. Well, I don't either. The only reason she goes for him is because she saw me first. Play down. I dream of genie with a light brown hair. Oh, oh. You ought to see how yellow her hair is. How blue her eyes. You know, the goofy part of the whole thing is, we were raised in the same county in Pennsylvania. About 30 miles apart, and I never even laid eyes on her until we traveled halfway around the world. <laughs> Where did you meet her? In Manila. In them days, we were flying a plane there until Junior volunteered to be a hero, and we got shot down in a bush last week. There we are. Me. The all American tech. Solid concrete from the neck. Both ways. Now, I always used to dream about a girl like Hey Dutch. That's what everybody calls her. You'll be okay in a couple of days. No. You keep traveling. I'll catch up with you. Break up a letter. We'll take him with us. No. Don't stop with me. I'll be all right. We've thrown them off our trail. You can't carry me and make time. Keep pushing ahead. That's an order. I'm in command. I'll take it easy, sir. We'll make camp here tonight. Sure, you wake up in the morning feeling like a tiger. That is, if this guy don't keep you awake all night talking about that thing.
anything but his gun. The lieutenant decided to stay a while. Hiya, buddy. What's cooking? Where's the dance? The dance was evacuated ten days ago. We're just picking up the leftovers. This is the last boat before the Japs get here. And the leftovers. That says, come on, leftovers. Southern exposure, or just a room. <laughs> Smells wonderful in here, doesn't it? Reminds me of a, the Ritz on Saturday night. Well, I'll tell you, Doc, they'll take care of you in there, and we'll go in and report to headquarters. Well, you better go with me. No, no, I'm all right. I'll go to headquarters with the general. Reporting, sir. Mason, sir. <laughs> well, so you got All through, right. eh? <laughs> That's great. Hello. I'm so glad Captain to see uh, Captain Moore, this is Dr. Stockton. We met the doctor and his wife in the jungle up north. This is Stockton, who's also a doctor. My wife's a very fine surgeon, Captain. Well, that's fine. We could use a few more surgeons around here. Sorry. Oh, Nick, you? Well, <laughs> oh, you should have seen it. Mrs. Stockman took a bullet out of there. It was that bi the biggest bullet I've ever seen of <laughs> I'm sorry, men. I won't be able to put you in the plane. There isn't one left. You'll have to do your shooting from the ground. Are you kidding? More walking? Oh, my dogs. <laughs> ah, you live through it. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> Glad to see you, Doctor. Uh, show me that. Uh, well, uh, uh, she took a pen knife. Uh, uh, cut it out. It was nothing. No idea what a luxury this is. Soap and a towel. We had showers in the barracks on the middle side. Do you suppose there's no water in The number four pipe was shelled two months ago. Never mind. I detest showers anyway. They're starting up again. You'll get used to it. It's amazing what we get used to. All the snarls up. Everything's fine. You in there, Doc? Yes, thank you. Come in. Your husband's reporting surgery. He'll be down in a minute. How are you? I'm fine. You look good. You do, too. Thank you. Dutch. I might have known you were hey, Dutch. But her eyes are not blue, they're green. Uh-oh. -uh. That calls for me. Oh, thank you. But no plane this time. You don't have to worry. I'll be seeing you. Take care of each other. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought, soldier. Your ears are dirty. My God. Let me take a look at you. You'll do. I think there's one. Thanks. You haven't got a lipstick, have you? Sorry, I left it with my other pants. You seen Jan? You could have knocked me over with a 12-inch gun when he walked into surgery. So you married him. I'm glad for both of you. Thank you, Mike. Why did you do it, Mike? Why did you walk out on me? Don't answer. I'm sorry I asked. That was a long time ago, Royce. Get yourself all dolled up, Tilly Winks. I'm taking you and Dan to the Waldorf for supper. You've given us three inches. Afraid you cut yourself. 
quits walking. Why, this is nice. Right out in the open, air cool. You'll be asking for more money next. Exactly a picnic. How are we doing? Fine. I had trouble finding gloves small enough, Doctor. Afraid? Of course I wouldn't. If I were out there, I'd be near Pinky. Funny. When he was a gunner on a plane, I, I used to think he'd be safer on the ground. Now I wish he were back in the air again. I'm worried sick. So is he. If you were up there, you'd be worried for fear something were happening to you. Yeah. Pinky would worry. We're engaged to be married. Did he tell you? Not over a hundred times. I'm so goofy about him. You're no worse than he is about you. Hey, Dutch. You wanted one. You ready, Doctor? I'm ready.
this. I can't do it. All right, Tommy. You studied with Hertzberg, right? What would you do? Preparation and probe for the fragment. Where would you affect entrance? The basal junction. Go ahead. You do it. All right. always like this? Sometimes it's worse. Well, you're doing fine, right? I'm going to find some place to sleep. Well, Doctor, have you seen my... Have you seen Dr. Royce? No, I haven't. Do you suppose we'll be able to hold out here? A day? A week? I don't know. Kind of dumb, weren't we? Just sitting around letting a thing like this happen? Yeah. In a democracy, it takes longer for people to wake up. They won't face things until they actually happen. Hmm. Think what it'd be like living in a world without any freedom. Doing without all the things you've always taken for granted. Never being able to express an opinion. Couldn't stand it. Mm -hmm. That's why we're hanging on. Every man on the rock knows what he's fighting for. Yeah. What do you think about Royce and me? It's great. Should have done it years ago. Only she was in love with you then. And she still is. I don't believe that. In fact, I know she is. I... I found it out a few minutes ago. Well, you're both a couple of idiots. You can't ignore a situation into non-existence. There isn't any situation. Not anymore. You must be half ostrich. Why don't you come up for air? You still love her. I used to. I remember one evening we spent in the park planning what we'd do when I got the Hertzberg appointment. I had 15 bucks. We were going to be married and live on my salary. She said she didn't mind our being poor. Everything was swell. And the very next day she went out and rented the most expensive offices in town for me. She installed equipment a hospital might have been just because she had the money to buy anything she wanted. And you made a fool of yourself. Rushed out and married a woman you didn't give two snaps about. You know, Mike, you threw away four lives that night. Yours, hers, mine, and your wife. Did you make Penny happy? No, I'm afraid not. Well, that leaves us just where we were six years ago. 
two men in love with the same woman. Pretty near time we settled that situation, huh? It's all settled. Is it? Yes, it's settled. Now, you'd better get some sleep. beat every time you look around and he isn't there. I think I know what you mean. Every time I hear a siren, I think it's an ambulance. Sometimes I think I'm going crazy. You mustn't worry. But when you're that way about a guy... I felt about someone like that once. That wasn't love. There was no security in it. No peace. It hurt too much. I don't care. I don't care how much it hurts. I know what I want. I want to marry Pinky and settle down and raise a family. Pinky's crazy about kids. Pinky's a fine boy. All my life I've had five sisters. Pretty ones. The boys were crazy about them. <laughs> I had to wear braces on my teeth. They did all right by you. Pinky wants to wait until we get home to get married, but... I'm afraid if he sees my sisters... He won't even look at them. You'd better get some rest. Why don't you sleep yourself? I just got to take a look topside. I'll see you later. your rations. Don't overeat. Uh, biscuit. Huh. They ought to give you something to dunk them in. Yeah, like carbolic acid, for instance. <laughs> Morning. You know this is mule meat? Yeah. You know, I've been beating the stuffings out of them things for 20 years. They're sure getting even with me now. <laughs> what gives? For tan pheasants, you know. Huh. Camouflage Japs. <laughs> All right, kid, come on. Mm. Wake up. What are you waking me up for? Boy, I was... I was dreaming about a great, big, juicy hamburger. The onions. The relief is coming on. Good. Got a few more hours to live. We don't die from starvation. I don't want to die that way, but for malaria. I want to die fighting. If we only had something to shoot. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you something to shoot. Manson. Get married and settle down on a nice little farm and raise a lot of cows, chicken, and mules. You didn't have to say that. I'll be seeing you. Good, but I, I saved it for you. 
you would look good on a little farm. Don't, Pinky. Well, we can dream, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, let's dream. In the open air again? Yes. Hmm? That beautiful? Well, to each other at any rate. Love is blind, you know. I've got to report to headquarters. Soak up all the sun you can. You won't get any when they start their daylight raids. I'll go with you. Up, honey. A truck just ran over your legs. Oh. Sleeping out isn't what it's cracked up to be. Good morning. Good morning. Up to sea days. Uh, hiya. Oh, hello. 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 Come on, honey. Let's try and find a tin cup of water and take a bath. Yeah, she looks like... Don't you say it. I've got a report to, before they throw me in a guardhouse. If there is a guardhouse, get us all in, will you? All right. See you later. How's about a hot tub bath full of nice soapy water? With bubbles? Bubbles. 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 <laughs> Japanese have driven with incredible speed through Burma, and so ends another definite stage of the war with all the rice, oil, and tin of Burma in Japanese hands. Sugar rationing goes into effect throughout the United States next week. Now, every man, woman, and child in the United States will have to carry ration cards. It is rumored that other commodities, such as rubber and coffee, may soon suffer the same fate as sugar. Indeed, it is not too much to expect that the people of this country will be called upon to give up eating meat one day a week. <laughs> Why, a junior? To what could happen sacrifice. to you? This program comes to you from San Francisco, sponsored by the makers of Crispy Kernels. With Crispy Kernels, you start the day off right. They're just plain good. They give you pep. Listen to them pop. A oh, oh, no, brother. We tried them, and we found out they ain't good for the fight. Oh, but the, uh, I had them this morning with uh, sugar, cream, and strawberries. Yeah, they're very good like that, but I went for the baked apple. Ah, oh, shut up, you guys! reaching effects. nation is eagerly awaiting the outcome as a determinant of future policy. The good news coming from the nation last week concerns production. April aircraft production was 75% greater than the month preceding Pearl Harbor. It is expected that the goal set for the year of 60,000 airplanes will be reached. Have I send us? Have it Yeah! Send us three! Send us two! Send us one! Hey, 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 take it easy. 29 corporations omitted their common You want your congressman to hear you? You make him unhappy, too. The news comes impartially. Well... May as well face the situation, gentlemen. Ordnance? Ammunition running very low, sir. Medical? We're low on everything, sir. Even anesthetics. Watermaster? Be barefoot in a week, sir. Commissary? We're living on emergency rations now, sir. Engineering? Got a little water left, sir. Hardly fit to drink. Well, that's the story, boys. Now, what'll it be? Fight or quit? <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> I thought you were serious.
All right, wait a minute. All right, I can't help that. This is emergency. Positions, cease firing. I repeat, GHQ to all positions. Cease firing. O eternal God, for inasmuch as Yenja Van Doren and Pinkham Mason have entered into the holy bonds of wedlock and witnessed the same before God and this company, and have therefore declared, given and pledged their faith each to each other, have declared the same by joining their right hands. I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put us up. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, Giver of spiritual grace and life everlasting. Send thy blessing on these thy sins. This man and this woman, that they may remain in perfect love and peace together. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They're all leaving. I'm all right. Oh, 
don't say our sweetheart. I used to live up there before they drove us underground. Would you like to see the place? Sure, if it's all right for her. Safe enough. Come on, here's the shortcut. Well, this is it. That was the kitchen. There's the dining room. And this was the fireplace in the living room. There was a lot they didn't teach us in anatomy. Maybe we weren't ready for it then. I mean like Tata. And the way she loved Pinky. Love? In mean the way she loves Pinky, don't you? You're tired, Grace. Try not to think about it. That's right. Try not to think about it. Business as usual. When are you two fools going to come to your senses? Jan, dear, please. I'm beginning to feel like a ghost myself. Here we are in a living room which doesn't exist, talking about a girl who's... and something that happened a long time ago. And instead of being thankful that deep down inside there's something solid like this rock we're standing on, you're still running away, burying yourselves underground. You know that the first basic fundamental truth that enlightened human beings was received on a rock like this, Mount Sinai? And to prove that truth and to spread it to the furthest corners of the earth, you know what happened at Gethsemane. And there's a rock, too. And now all of us here, we're standing for truth. In its broadest sense, there isn't time for anything else. Still the analyst, eh, Jan? Analyzing us right through the gates of eternity. That's what we're facing, you know, any moment now. And why do you think I feel we're so important? Because we're dying for something we believe in. Call it democracy. Well, that's what it is. The individual's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That means yours, and yours, and mine. Well, you understand what I'm trying to tell you? It's all right. Never mind. I'm getting off the soapbox right now. So on. Jen! I'll... I'll talk to him tomorrow, Russ. Jan, please wait for me. Jan. Jan. I didn't mean to upset you, darling. I wasn't upset. I, I just wanted to be with you. Would you mind kissing me? I'd love it. Honey, you look after Michael, won't you? What do you mean, look after Michael? He doesn't need looking after. Oh, yes, he does. Very much. And you'll stop being afraid. You'll be honest with yourself. I am honest. Are you? Yes, I've gone, gone, sweet. Here's that kiss I promised you. You will be careful. Got our answer. Huh? Yeah, it's
Order of Position 7, Senior Officer, your own command. You will exercise your own judgment. Okay, we're hanging on.
Get me the South Dock. It's medical GHQ. Here's your passenger list. Nurse Albright. Briggs. Buckingham. Carter. Chandler. Donovan. Why aren't you ready to go? Did you get your orders? I'm not ready. I'm sorry. You can't make me leave. I can make you. I'm not thinking of you, Alvarez. Nor of me. What about Jan? What would he want? He just He want me to be safe. Then we'll see that you are safe. Get ready. This is it. Don't be afraid. No. Anything as strong as this will be right on. Suppose you were killed. Even if I were. That's not the end of everything. You think the crumbling of those walls means the corregidor is done for? I know better than that. They're just a symbol of what we're fighting for. We'll come back. We'll build up everything that's been destroyed. Someday, I'll come back to you. Wherever you are. You believe that? I believe it. I do, my. I believe. Take care. So long, Mike. All of you. If you see that buddy of mine, tell him I'll send him a mule from Australia. Okay, Pete. Doctor, 
We're out of something all right. Dark feet, taken solution, gauze, bandages, sheets. In other words, we're out of everything. That's it. Do the best you can. Major operation waiting for you, Doctor. Broadcast to Manila to arrange a meeting with the Jets. Everyone here is bawling like a baby. We've got about 55 minutes before surrender. I'm sick of my stomach. Men of the blood red rock, Corregidor, the rock, the living rock for which you died, freedom, still stands enthroned above the war. No treacherous foe can scale that mountainside. Your dying hands rebuilt above the world a fortress for the unconquerable mind, a mountain with a sky of stars unfurled above it and the hope for all mankind. Men of the rock, far over sea and land, your thunder-cloven crests once more grow bright. America, the torch in her right hand, re-crowned with fire, is moving through the night. America, by land and sea and air, moves to her dead. Let all her foes beware. Hail, Father, hail, hail. 